Apple, quite notoriously, is very stringent when it comes to emulation on its iOS App Store. And specifically, they famously blocked the Mini VMac Macintosh emulator. So today, we're gonna install it anyway. So stay tuned. And if you think that a walled garden is a challenge, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Mini VMac has long been the gold standard emulator for early Macintosh models like the Mac Plus and the Mac 2. It runs or compiles on just about anything, from modern computers to, well, there's even official downloads for Open Indiana and Windows Mobile 5. So a modern iOS device, this can run Mini VMac no problem. Oh, except one problem, Apple. Cook. Yeah, Apple has never been keen on any emulators in the App Store, including, and perhaps especially, Mini VMac. But why are we gonna let Android people have all the fun? Thanks to the kind work of Jesus Alvarez, we have a quite lovely port of Mini VMac for iOS with a lot of attention to quality of life and integration. Sound, simulated keyboard, and a fully integrated touchscreen so I can perhaps live my dream of doodling in Mac paint with an Apple Pencil. Of course, Mr. Tim Cook would never let such joy into the Apple App Store, so we're gonna be setting up a third-party app store called Alt Store, which should be extremely simple and should let us directly install Mini VMac with no hassle whatsoever. Oh no, look at that glare. Good thing I have perhaps the world's most convenient sponsor timing. Paperlike for iPad. Paperlike is the original paper feel screen protector. Not only does it reduce glare, which is quite useful for me here trying to film my iPad, but the real magic is in the nano dot. The Paperlike screen protector has an incredibly pleasant texture designed to give you just the right resistance and haptic feedback when you're drawing or writing on your iPad with something like an Apple Pencil. The proprietary nano dots are tiny microbeads engineered to really feel like paper, giving you better precision when you're sketching or writing. If you use your iPad for drawing like I do, you'll be really surprised at the extra dimension that just a little bit of resistance can add to the experience. Shading something in feels like shading something in, not just rubbing a plastic nub on glass. And on top of that, hey, screen is protected. If you're gonna get a screen protector anyway, why not get one that adds dual functionality? Anti-glare? and Nanodot haptic pencil feedback. There's a 100 day satisfaction guarantee. So join millions of creators, artists, and iPad power users and check out the Paperlike 2.1. Link down in my description below. All right, so we're gonna install the Alt Store on my modern M1 MacBook Pro here and then use that to get it going on the iPad. And I've never done this before, so we're gonna figure it out together. Although I do think it is Pretty straightforward. So we're installing the alt server first. Boy, I should really clean out my downloads folder. Why do I even have this? Anyway, let's extract alt server and uh, we will open it. We've got a little icon up here. So now I think we just have to connect the iPad. Oh yeah, look at that. Install alt store on Sean's iPad. All right, we will trust this iPad. Show this iPad. When on Wi-Fi, let's do install alt store to Sean's iPad to enter my Apple ID here. All right, I think it is installing. Oh uh, yeah, look, there it is, the alt store. Developer mode required. All right, let's put this into developer mode. Easy enough. Hey, would you look at that? We have the alt store. So now all we have to do is go into the GitHub page for Mini VMac for iOS, download the latest IPA file from releases, and then in Alt Store, go to My Apps, Add, and then there's our download. Oh, look at that, Mini VMac side loaded. There it is. Mini VMac needs a ROM image. I'm not gonna tell you where to get a ROM image from, although it is pretty easy to find on the internet. Now we just have to move that ROM image to the local 
storage mini vmac folder we'll restart mini vmac hey it chimed oh now we just need an actual disk image oh look at that the mouse works oh yeah okay disk image i have copied one into my iCloud drive there we go this system 6 mac plus disk image We'll move that into the mini vmac folder. There it is. And it's booting. Oh, look at it. Look at that. My iPad is now my Mac Plus disk image, actually from my real Mac Plus, with all of my apps, including Mac Paint, of course. Oh, look at it. We can draw in Mac Paint with the Apple Pencil. Oh, I could probably make some cool artwork this way. This is extremely exciting, actually. <laughs> and then if we swipe up with two fingers, we have a classic Mac layout keyboard. So we can do just about anything on here. Especially Shuffle Puck. Actually, it's a little bit hard to play Shuffle Puck on a touch screen. Rogue, my favorite game. Oh man, I could play a lot of Rogue on this thing. Thank you, Jesus, for making this port work so freaking well. Ooh, a ring. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the settings in here and see if we can't give ourselves a little bit of a better shuffle puck experience. Yeah, swiping to the right brings up our settings and we have speed options, run in the background, trackpad. This should emulate more of a, a mouse. Oh yeah, look at that. So now instead of the cursor following my finger, it functions as if my finger is on a trackpad. Oh yeah, <laughs> oh, this is great. All right, let's see what other options we can have in here. We could change the Macintosh that we're emulating, although we, I think, would need the correct ROM to do that. All right, I have dug up a Mac 2 ROM. Let's try to copy that over. All right, boot up Mini VMac. Oh, it's doing something. It still thinks it's a Mac Plus. Okay, it turns out I have to rename this to Mac2.rom. Mac2. All right, let's try this again. Oh, it chimed. Oh, look at that. We're a Mac2 in color. Oh, it's glorious. Look at this wonderful color. All right, let's see if we can emulate an Apple II inside of our emulated Macintosh 2. This is a software called Two in a Mac. Ooh, uh, it's doing something. I think the emulated Apple II is in these little squares here. Maybe it doesn't really like this uh, resolution. All right, let's try this again at 512 by 384. Nope, I don't think that works right in mini VMAC. Oh my God, no, 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 that was a mistake. So that is the emulator that Apple would really rather you not have. It works extremely well. It's fairly easy to install with the alt store. And thank you so much, Jesus, for this wonderful port. I can finally be terrible at shuffle puck on the go. But if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more stuff like this, please subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. And I just want to give a very special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters and channel members. Thank you so much, each and every one of you, for supporting me and supporting this channel and all the weird stuff I do. I am so very grateful and I just could not do this without you.